Hello, we're here at Pi2 Design doing a video to showcase the prototype for the Pi2 Media HT1 home theater setup with surround sound. Um, it's made up of a couple of shields, the CSB502 SSD, which has a, a hard drive and a Wi-Fi module among other things, and the CSB502 V2S, which is providing 7.1 surround sound. Um, it also has an IR interface for your remote, which is very simple to set up with OSMC. I'm just going to browse to videos here. RootFS is the partition name for the partition on the SSD. There's a folder in there called Movies. And I can show you this channel check here. So here we have a 5.1 Logitech setup, and then I've just added another pair of computer speakers to be the rear left and right surround. It may sound a little different. The next sound you'll hear is the LFE channel. sounds through your headphones, but over here it sounds really good. All right. Now that we saw that, I'm just going to take a minute to show you a couple of the settings. Uh, probably the first most important thing would be setting up the wireless network. And there's a little bit of a bug in OSMC here, it seems like. Um, when you go to wireless, you know, it shows up in the, the side panel as being connected, but it says no internet. Um, wait for network at the bottom of the middle panel. I haven't had any problems getting internet on this, um, but it's just simple to browse over, choose your, the network you want to connect to and put in the password and the uh, OSMC will remember that. So also in my OS, OSMC uh, is where you'd want to set up the remote control. Um, here I have a config file that I got from the LARC remote data, database uh, for this Samsung remote that we had Kind of just sitting around. Um, you can, they have a bunch of presets. You can see here for Apple remotes, you know, other uh, kinds of common remote controls. Um, but if you go over to browse, then you can go to like a Windows file share or wherever. Um, you may have another config file that'll work and just set that up and it will uh, it should work for you otherwise if there aren't, isn't anything on the database there's a way to record the remote codes from your remote so that the Pi will understand them um, okay. now I just wanted to show you another thing on the hard drive here, uh, I've got another one of these Dolby movies. This one's pretty cool. Right now, you're listening to where cinematic audio has been. Because we are so used to hearing sound this way, 
we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary again? Engines are up and burning. Audio can precisely move in any direction within this theater. Whether the sound sweeps from the back, to all the way in front, marks overhead, or moves anywhere in between. Today, you will feel every dimension. How does that sound? Gives me chills every time. It really does sound great. It's hard to convey um, the sensation of surround sound, obviously, through a stereo video camera, but hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea. Now, we're just using the default sound settings right now, but I can show you that settings panel and maybe explain a few of the things. Uh, so here on the side we're going to audio output. Uh, we have the HDMI Pi output, that's correct, and we're set up for 7.1 channels. Um, you know, you don't have to use all of the jacks if you can select uh, 5.1. You know, that would only output through those five Logitech speakers and not the extra two. Um, stereo up mix is an interesting option that will play stereo sources through all of the speakers instead of just the front left and right uh, it might be interesting for listening to music uh, or something like that um, support 8 channel DTS HD audio decoding we want that on and the, the Pi 2 can, can do that in software uh, it seems to be working pretty well. And enable pass through. We're not going to enable pass through. We want to decode any DTS uh, or other encoded bit streams uh, inside the Pi. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And please check out our website for more information on the Pi 2 Media HT1. Power off.